the Duke Kun, and the politician. This is a high profile and chilling murder trial that happened right here, back in 1993, and executed on 2001. Mona Fendi used to be a pop singer before she decided to switch careers and become a BOMO instead, after she became enthralled in the world of spiritual witchcraft. Her career as a BOMO began to flourish and she worked with her husband and an assistant. In 1993, Maslin Idris, a state assemblyman from Pahong, requested Mona's services because he wanted to become more successful in politics. She agreed to help him and offered him a talisman that was supposedly owned by the former Indonesian president, Sukarno, claiming that it would make him invincible. The catch was that she wanted RM 2.5 million in return. Blinded by the potential power the talisman could give him, Moslem agreed to the arrangement and paid Mona 500,000 ringgit Malaysia. He also gave Mona and her husband 10 land titles to cover the 2 million ringgit Malaysia. Soon after, Moslem made an appointment with her to undergo a cleansing ritual at her home. When he arrived, Mona told him to lie on his back on the floor. She then placed flowers all over him, telling him to close his eyes and wait for money to fall from the sky. Her assistant, Jeremy, then chopped his head off with an axe. They then cut up Moslin's body into 18 parts, partially skinned him, and buried his remains at a storage room near her home. Throughout the trial, people were disturbed by photos of her wearing fashionable clothes while smiling and posing outside the court. Ultimately, Mona, her husband, and assistant were all found guilty of murder and were sentenced to death. Right before she was executed, on November 2, 2001, she reportedly said, Say 